Good evening. We are beginning to learn more about the Canadian victims of the tragic plane crash of an Ethiopian Airlines flight to Nairobi this morning, which killed everybody on board. We now know that 18 victims were from Canada. Among the dead, a young woman from Toronto who was heading to Kenya for what seemed to be the opportunity of a lifetime. We also spoke to the wife of an accountant who worked for the city of Calgary and a man whose sister and five-year-old daughter were also killed. It's stories and all that stuff. And then all of a sudden, she's not there. That's how... You know, it just gives you this, uh, the whole, like, you know, this whole world is like, it's just like that. You could be here today, tomorrow, you're no more, you know. Yeah. It's painful. She, you and she were quite close, it sounds like. Yeah, we were very close friends. We talk on the phone a lot. 33-year-old Amina Odawa was taking her five-year-old daughter Sophia to visit family and friends in Nairobi. Just a few hours earlier, she had a stopover in Toronto after traveling from her home in Edmonton and had chatted excitedly with her brother on the phone. She leaves behind two other children, aged seven and three. It is uh, unbelievable, yeah. It was like, you know, we... Uh... Yeah, nobody expects that kind of stuff in their life. You know, you hear plane crashes happening to some distant people, some really far away places, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but then when it comes right there, to someone who you are talking to like only a few hours earlier, it's uh, very, very devastating, you know. Uh, we've been married for 22 years. Um, we have three kids. Derek is a very loving dad and very actually dearly loving and like a loving husband as well. He, he loves people. He just loves people of all sorts of background and he makes friends easy, very friendly man and very hardworking. Derek Lugi was on his way to Nairobi to visit his mother who was not feeling well. The Calgary accountant was planning to stay for a month. He lives behind his wife Gladys and three children, aged 17, 19, and 20. How are the kids holding up? It's devastating for the kids, for all of us. Horrible. It's horrible. It's only that I've had friends coming, so they make a difference because we cry together. A renowned Carleton University professor, Pius Adesamni, who was described by Carleton's president as a global thinker, was also killed. Another victim has been identified online as a young Scarborough woman, Danielle Moore, who, according to her LinkedIn page, was teaching in Winnipeg. Her last Facebook post before the crash read, I'm so excited to share that I've been selected to attend and am currently en route to the United Nations Environmental Assembly in Nairobi.